Welcome back, YouTube. This is one of my matches from the Jiu Jitsu World League competition, California number eight, I believe it's called. So here we start standing, and I'm trying to see what I can do with this guy. And here he gets an amazing arm drag to the Kosoto, but he doesn't can't really keep me on the ground. And I go I to go for try to go for a butterfly sweep, but we stand back up. And we come back to center now. I'm thinking maybe I, I want to go ankle pick, but this guy's really fast and strong and I can't really get to it. So I'm going to have to do something else. Here I'm thinking go for a single leg, isolate the one arm, but then he goes, reaches. And I'm able to uh, sprawl somewhat and get out of the way. And now I get to his uh, turtle back i'm trying to feed the knee inside so that i can fall to my hip and possibly take his back which is what i do oh nope i was wrong i don't remember correctly but i still have the seat belt and i'm able to maintain control as he rolls away from me but now i get his back here at this moment i was able to get my hand underneath his chin you can't really tell but that's what i'm going for right here I had a pretty locked in rear naked choke, but with his the force of his hands pulling down on my own hands and me getting tired, it was I wasn't able to complete the submission. So now I let go here, he turtles back up and I'm still on his back. I'm trying to take his back again without losing the position. But as he rolls over, I still I mount him here, and so he continues to be aggressive in his defense. But now here again, I take the back, and I need to establish some type of control over his upper body here so that I can get a submission. And here I work the S mount. And I'm thinking maybe I can roll him over again. And this seemed to be a continuous pattern in this match. Um, I don't think this guy really knew how to escape the back very well. And here I'm crossed my kept my legs crossed for a moment. I can't really remember exactly what I was going for here. Um, but again. Oh, there it is. I had him in the gift wrap. So here I will go with the arm bar, go from the gift wrap, then I wrap the arm over and I step across. I remember I couldn't really break his grip so that I can go for the arm bar, but I abandoned that and came up as he was pushing into me. I maintained control over his head so that I could keep the top position. Petir is holding onto my arm. For a moment, I was thinking maybe I could do a reverse triangle, but now he's just bridging into me. He's staying center on the my on the back, a good defensive position from the back. And again, I'm trying to choke this dude, but the hand fight is always a peculiar thing to work with and something that I can improve upon for the next competition and so here I am trying to isolate the one arm maybe push it down so that I could trap it with my legs but I don't he turtles up and I follow I follow him maintaining control here I think at this moment I get a straight jacket hold yeah I have arms crossed with my left I have his right and my right I have his left and again I fall back to the back control here I push I'm thinking yeah I can push one arm down and it's just not too effective for me at this moment um, I'm thinking maybe I can trap one arm and work a body triangle submission which would have been really cool 
And here, I think the time is about to run out. So thank you all for watching and subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Us.